Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with Queen Sugar. You my chair for it a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Season six, episode four. <laughs> Listen, this... <laughs> y'all almost didn't get this review tonight. We're just going to keep it 100 with y'all. Everything in the world want to go wrong. Yeah, hold on. Technical <laughs> difficulties tonight behind the scenes, man. He keep accusing me of raising my chair. I'll be like, my chair ain't up. I don't know what's ain't going on. Ain't got time with this bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, a different day. Same old skit. Just a different day. When y'all compare this show to, um, what's it, um, dang it. Damn, damn, damn. When y'all compare it to that, <laughs> I'm right there. Good times. Like, Good times, yeah. There, there cannot be a winning moment nowhere to be found on this show. Yep. If there is, you can best believe that trouble and sorrow is going to be around the corner. Say, Jane thought, just can't keep that good job or he can never get the good job. And then he died. Then he died. God don't. So we started off the episode where we have Charlie. She's gone to D.C. to do some political work and campaign, doing whatever she does. But in the meantime, she has to have a virtual interview with Gail King. Yeah. Because they, you know, they want to talk about some of the things and some of the triumphs that um, that Charlie has done in St. Joe. Um, I did, I did love that Charlie was giving us some history and some real good facts. About oh, black, black farmers. farmers. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, and how we went from dominating that 14%, percent. which is nothing either, down, down to, to 1%, 1%? in crazy. just 100 years. That is crazy. That is in freaking insane yeah. when that's where most of us came from. That's where, right. that's where we came. I'm, yeah. 1%? Yeah. 1%. So I did, I, we sat there the whole time, was like, What? what? Yeah. Yes. So Gail King got all of her things out the way that she really wanted to talk about as far as that go. But did y'all see them shoes she had on? Them, them <laughs> shoes was bad. But then she got to the meat and potatoes. And we knew last week when they posted that picture that said black love that it was oh. coming. And oh, yeah. it was coming in the form of your job, your position right. as a political figure. We knew that there were going to be some challenges right off the bat. So pretty much, she asked the questions that everybody has. So, yeah, how did how how did you have it in your heart to give him another no shot? Chance. Yeah, like do you think that the world is is ready to forgive him of what he's done? Um, are you sure he's a changed she man? She had a powerful response for that too. She did. Yeah, that pretty much he's he's putting in the work. Yeah, and the only thing that we can do is just wait for the work to show itself up and manifest itself. And I'm trusting the process. We're all a work in progress. And she even hit him with the, we fall down, <laughs> but we get now, up. Now, but when, she show, when they showed the clip of, of them dragging her off the court, and you could just see, like, that affected her. Remember last week I said, I wonder if when she starts seeing, you know, what the clips. She's been yeah, through. when they start showing the clips. Because I knew they was going to do it. Of course. she's going to be triggered. But you can tell she was triggered a little bit. But she held her own. But homegirl, boy, she loved herself from Davis now. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. She don't it, got it's much head. more than, than sucking and bucking in the dark now. Oh yeah. She yeah. don't climb the tree and she loves a tree house uh -huh. now. She want weekends in LA now. Yeah. <laughs> so she handled that right quite well, like we said. So she ended that interview going back to her I, it looked like she was in one of those DC boutique hotels. So she gets there and it's all lit up with these candles and balloons and flowers. And the first thing that came to my mind was, who up in there that don't lit these goddamn candles? Huh? It's a fire hazard around here. I said, I thought that Davis West was going to pop out from like yeah, the I bathroom did too. or yeah, something I did like too. that. Because when she called him to thank him for the flowers and to say she loves him, y'all, so she don't actually say that she's back in love mm -hmm. with Davis West. I thought he was going to pop out because he didn't answer the phone. But he didn't. He's not there or whatever. So, let's transition over huh. to Ralph Angel and Darla's house, right? So, they're laying in the bed. He's, you know, playing with her stomach. They cuddling, kissing, doing all that stuff. The stuff they did to get her in that position they in now. Mm -hmm. It and always starts hear, that way. <laughs> and they hear the commotion outside. So, like, Ralph Angel goes outside and the racist cop is outside talking about some. He has a warrant. Warrant for what? Oh well, according to your sister's little book, there's some bodies buried out here that your daddy took care of. And I was like, 
We can't even testify that, now. Yeah. <laughs> we can't testify without our stuff being fact checked. Right. But 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 Emma Teal's lady. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so Ralph Asia pretty much didn't have no choice but to let them go ahead and pretty much raid the land. And they're yeah. digging, trying to find human remains. Like I told you, who's watching the sh- watching the show? You know that the borderline family has to be a threat for them to spend that kind of money coming out there on his land to excavate to try to find a body oh, based upon what's been said in a book. Yeah, but what's scaring me is aren't those Spanish farmers that came out there to help? Aren't a couple of those on that land? I can't even remember, but I, I think, I think so. you. I think you're right, though. So that's where we we'll get to it. But so Dollar and Ralph Angel, he stepped into the police because he know this is some bull. But Dollar came out there. She was like, you know what, Ralph Angel, just please come in the house. Yeah. And and pretty much, I need to keep you safe right now. Yeah. Even in a position right here where this is your land. Oh yeah. You pretty much got to bow down and be boy to this situation, which pisses all of us off. It always does because in order for us to stay alive, we gotta kind of take the low ground. We gotta humble and ourselves. Humble ourselves. So, yeah. And feel this big in order to go back home to our family. So mm-hmm. that's pretty much what she did. Was made him. Was Stom- that your stomach? Stomach growling, man. <laughs> <laughs> You need to take a blue. I shouldn't have ate that ice cream, man. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? I know y'all heard it. <laughs> God, don't. Roll camera. <laughs> so anyway, so at one point we saw Ralph Angel go down into the land too. And they was like, you can't be out here. You know, this is pretty much a crime scene. So no, you can't be out here pretty much tracking up the place. He was like, this is my guy doing land, but what I can he be really what I want. Yeah, but what he really wanted to do was to get some <clears throat> of the soil. So yeah. he put the soil in a bag and he called what's his name? Benny. Benny. And long story short, um Benny tested the soil because he wanted to see what they were really out there doing. to do. Yeah. And he was like, I need to get a baseline of what this soil is now so that we can see what happened. Well, long story short, Benny was like, Your stuff is polluted with pesticides. To the point where we know that it's on purpose because somebody would have to be stupid, stupid or reckless to do something like this, to put this amount in it. So that's why Ralph Angel has come to the conclusion that this is why his sugar cane ain't, ain't, ain't growing. growing up because it's contaminated from the jump. And he already know that the Landry's has something to do with this. When we... And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm all for a competition, a good challenge, but not at this let point. the best man win. But if you gotta do skit like that to beat me, you it cheating. Ain't, yeah, you cheating. It ain't no competition. At that point. So obviously, it, I'm the better person, and you know it. If you gotta cheat, yeah. So Dollar, Dollar know the day up like my grandma used to say, up skits creek without a paddle. Yeah. So she told Ralph Angel she stepped to him in a way that she did not diminish his manhood. But anytime you bring a solution to a man full of pride. That's exactly how they're going to take it. So she That's told, when it comes down to money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she confronted him and she said, you know what? We can't. I know that, you know, we can't get no more payday <clears> loans. <throat> we can't do this. We can't do that. We are in a tough spot right now. When I was trying to get the money and filling out um, scholarships, applications, all that stuff for Blue, I realized that I have some money tucked away for a scholarship that I haven't even used. It's in my mom's name. She probably doesn't even realize that it's there. I'm not asking her for money. I just want to ask her to release that money to us so that we can do what we need to do. Ralph Angel don't want no parts of that Mm -mm. because it's still asking someone to provide something for your household that you're not able to do. And then her mama and daddy don't make it easy either. Mm-mm. That's you know, true. you take money from certain people, then all of a sudden you they under you under their thumb. So they say jump, you got to say how high. So I can <sighs> feel Ralph from that from that standpoint that I, I I wouldn't take no money from them. But are you gonna sit there and let the whole house fall apart? Nah, I just go ahead and do the job with Leo. Well, that's what he know. <laughs> and I knew it from I, when he declined that right there. He was like, I'm a man. I'm gonna figure uh-huh. it out <sighs> the criminal way. I yeah. mean, you already you you already got the target on your back, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So. so, 
Let's talk about your boy, Micah. Micah is smitten by old professor. Yeah, he in love. I didn't know he was in love, man. I, no. just, I just thought he was just, you know, tapping the skin, you know, you know, gets a little clout that I don't, you know, I'm having, you know, I'm getting it from, from the professor. Yep. I didn't know he had no feelings. So Micah was like, you know what? He told his, um, his frat brother, he was like, listen, I got to go get some flowers for this girl because it's her birthday. So he called him out on it. He was like, oh, the professor <laughs> likes flowers, and I don't think she would appreciate being called a girl. So Michael was like, oh, 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 how did oh, you, how you know, know that? He was like, "I pretty much I can read a room. You say you nervous when you around her? She's smiling when she around you. That's I how you always pick up with somebody to match around or with somebody, yeah. So he goes over there to bring the flowers to old girl in her office. And immediately she would hit him with the ho 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 ho. Oh, wait, wait. This, this is my place. This is my place of business. This is what I get my bread from. <laughs> don't don't confuse this. Yeah. We have a whole lot of fun, but she don't mess that poor boy up. She don't got she don't cougar him and he don't know what to do. Said she don't got she don't got him pussy whip. I'm gonna go ahead and say. <laughs> yeah. She said, I think you need something from me that I'm not available to do. And I was like, what's that? She said, you, you want emotional yeah. something from me. And this was just physical for me. Yeah. I was like, you ain't had to tell him like that. Put it down easy. He young. He young. But however, what the heck is going on in your life that you got to get physical I mean, with one of the students at the school? Ain't nobody on the outside of school that you could be messing with physically? She wanted to turn him out, and she did. And then she dropped him hard. So then the frat brother comes over to his dorm. To, like, hey, let's go out to this thing right here. Oh, he really is feels that. The only thing was missing was some slow jams playing in the background. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I ain't really feeling it right now. So he was like, so she 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 dumped you, right? Flowers? Like, she don't like flowers? It's like, no, you know, I don't know how to separate being emotionally attached. And from my body. And from my body. It's all one for me. So old boy was like, you know, pretty much, you not going. I'm going to stay here and be with my friend. I told y'all from the jump, I think that this is all building, uh, up, building up for them to get their thing going on. So homeboy told Michael to come on down here, sit on the floor with me, and we're going to meditate. You're going to exhale the old and, 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 and concentrate on what you want to concentrate on because right now you are all over the place. Yeah. We, need you to, we need you to release some of that. When he exhaled, then we saw Nova over there exhaling too. <laughs> Nova is she over there. Smoking. A fat joint rolled up. Uh, oh, that's a blunt. So she over there smoking. Homeboy from um, next door down the street, wherever he lives at. He's over there talking and whatever. And they gonna have something going on too. Oh yeah, you can see the build um, up to that too. Yeah. Because earlier in the episode, Nova was getting cameras um, put in her place, and I'm like, real talk. I'm not trying to be fun. Why Ralph Angel ain't never had no cameras? Yeah. As much as these people have uh, a target on y'all. Should have been. Why don't you have that a ring Should have been. Y'all ready to say the ring? Yeah. Nova, what kind of... You in that line of work. And you mean to tell me that you don't have something that's going to back up whatever happens to you because well, it's going to happen? Well, she probably felt safe because Calvin was in the picture. He was already police, so... She kind of had him, you know, on speed dial. Well, not so, so now yeah. that so now that Calvin is locked up and turned himself, I think he locked up. I don't know. He I turned himself he in. He turned himself but in. But we don't know where. Yet. So now she needs some cameras. Well, she should have been got that before she started this bullshit again. Exactly. So she pretty much was, you know, she said to the guy that she really want to talk about it, but they kind of had that unspoken language thing going on where he knew that something was going on. He started telling her about his life, and then the black cop that was helping her out, that was pretty much telling her the details of what was going on on the force and all the um, excessive force they were using against people of color, he rose up. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hold on for a minute, let me go talk to him. And he pretty much was like, hey, I came by to check on you because the block is hot. Like, you are a target, and I believe that they know that I'm helping you out. So Nova was like, so are you going to be okay? He said, I'm going to lay low a couple of days, do what I need to do. I was like. Yeah, and she asked about that phone click too, was she being tapped? And he was like, I don't I know. Don't but know. Yeah, yeah you, you were definitely being tapped. Oh, yeah. Why y'all ain't had no burners? <laughs> like, if y'all going to get this deep into it, why you using your real your real contract That's phone? That's ghost and timing, though, man. You about to think like. Nova. If I think like that, why she don't think like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I brought up. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
let's go over there to Mr. Prosper. Nope, let's go over here to Gabriel and um, Hollywood. Hollywood is taking um, Gabriel to yeah, that go was fishing. fishing. And I that thought was that dope. was really nice. But y'all said last week, and I kind of didn't want to think on the lines of this, but y'all was like, Hollywood is going to have him a good time with Gabriel. And what if he started getting an eye for the mama? Hmm. Since Vi starts moving real crazy when she wants to. Well, I what I was thinking was that <laughs> on the flip side that because he is being good to her son, that she might try to make a move on him. That part too. That's the part I thought. Yeah. So they get out there and they're fishing or whatever and they catch a fish. And Gabriel was like, oh, can we let the fish go? Because maybe I just wanted to have a good, good life. life. I'm like, oh. How so long pretty much, of course you can. So pretty much the little boy was like, I want to have a good life. So I can't have it right now. At least I want to mm -hmm. have, let that fish have a good life. And Hollywood was like, you know what? It takes a real good person, a special right. person to say something like that. I ain't never heard nothing like that yeah, in my life. Because I, I would never throw that fish back. You were raising in that uh, igloo cooler with the ice. Look, now unless <laughs> it was a bass and, <laughs> and, and, and it was too small to catch <laughs> and keep. Matter of fact, my granddad over here went fishing one time. and I can't remember what they caught, but it was a legal fish. Uh -huh. And said when the game world was coming, they ran off to the side with digging a hole in the ground real quick. And they took a bird to fish. All so he would fish. so he wouldn't see him. And if that dirt started moving like this, they would have felt something. <laughs> so over there at the diner, because Aunt Vi and the mama is over there just, you know, putting together their care packages for the people and the community, feeding the community. Aunt Vi said, you know what? You've been helping me out. You don't fix about a hundred of these boxes. You don't put refill the napkins. But what I really need you to do is go ahead and file for divorce from that man. And yeah. homegirl was like, I don't know what he'll do to me and my son if I do this. Like, that is going to anger him. And I said, listen, let me give you the card to this lawyer, and they're going to help you out, and they're going to keep you safe. I was but like, ain't I that so like, that. ain't that so unfortunate, though? It is, that you have it's, to stay attached to keep the peace. Right. So she know that pretty much in the presence of the police officers or the law, that she going to be fine. It's just that when she leave that courthouse and that divorce is final, she don't no longer have protection. Or when he's served. Yeah, because you, we all know that they don't do nothing until, until they do done. something. Yeah, so something has to ha physically happen to you in order for them to step in. Yep. So, we know all about it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So let's talk about Prosper and Billy. Huh? Billy is over the house with Mr. Prosper, and she's trying to help him out with the eating and the medicine. And he's not eating. And when nah. I looked at them grits, I said, I see I said, why. Yeah, they don't, they don't look, they got no bitter season on them. I mean, them things is white, white, white. Yeah. So, um, he put she some said. butter and sugar something on Yeah, so she was like, what about getting a nurse over here? Like, somebody that can help you with your needs because you don't want me to do it. So why don't we get somebody? He was like, no, no, oh, no. no. I'm, I'm fine. I she can take said, care of home stuff. She said, I know you would say that. So I went ahead and booked her already. She'd be around here later on. He said, well, why don't you, you just, just go ahead and unbook her? <laughs> I said, Mr. Prosper, you had to do it like that. But Mr. Prosper started asking her about her friend, Vince. Was like, how is Vince? Like, how are y'all doing? I know y'all had a rough patch, but you don't speak nothing of him. And she was like, you know, it's complicated, whatnot. So he was like... If you don't want to talk to me about it, don't you have some, some friends, friends that you can talk to them about it? What did she say? She said friends are nothing but future enemies. Yeah. I said. Or something like that, yeah. If you really want to think about it like that, when a friend does, when y'all do fall out, usually they do become your enemy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is so Especially unfortunate. Especially the more you know about each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then he asked her about... You know, mm -hmm. did you and Nova, like, did y'all squash it? Are y'all okay? Because y'all were just so close. And she was like, we've talked, but we're not really okay. So yeah. then we see that she does go over there and speak to Nova. And this week we learned, see, we thought that Jimmy Dale had actually, mm, Yeah, her. but he didn't. But what had happened was, as a young girl and having the attention of a 30-year-old, she's she was. She was kind of like, oh, this attention feels great. Right. And she didn't want it to go any further than just feeling like, oh, okay, I like the way this feels. But he lured her alone 
and he had other intentions. Yep. But she was able to get away from him. But he went around and pretty much did a smear campaign on her name and told everybody that she was good in bed. And how can you kind of refute that when y'all kind of was in a position where it's your word yeah. against his? And nobody believed her. And her and Nova had a come to Jesus moment about it. They cried. And Nova was like, I'm never going to betray you like that. I'm here now. I'm sorry. Typical. Yeah. <laughs> Typical stuff <laughs> from them two. But Mr. Prosper, right? Oh, oh Mr. Prosper, what? Well, <laughs> this is actually the best part of the freaking episode. So Mr. Prosper, the nurse though came over there. What was her name? Was it Sandy? Patty the Bell. Because that's exactly what she looked <laughs> she like. She did favor her a lot. Um, and she couldn't even be kin to her. We ain't look none of that up. So I know if y'all know, y'all gonna know. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she comes in and she was like, Mr. Pro- Mr. Whatever his last name is. And he was like, my name is Prosper. He was like, are you vaccinated? She was like, like yeah. I sure am. He said, because I am. And if you're comfortable with letting mm-hmm. your mask down, you know, I, I'm comfortable with letting you do so. <laughs> she took that mask down and she hit him with the cold gate. And he, he said, said, Mr. Prosper said. She said, Mr. Prosper, you all right? He said, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> Mr. Prosper said, I'm going to leave the door open. <laughs> I said, Mr. Prosper don't got real spit, uh-huh. don't got the blushing and everything. So they really like connected really, really quickly yeah. and very soon. They up in there playing space and talk about some oh you a head whiz kind of girl. Yeah. She said it don't even matter. As long as you're comfortable with getting your A whoop in so many words. Uh-huh. He was like, oh. Started singing a little bit of Motown for him. Like, what? And he over there talking about something. Oh, he, he, he would dance, he would. I said, come on, Mr. Prosper. <laughs> Do it like you used to do in the cabaret when you had your <laughs> bottle in your in your pants pocket in the back. Now the question is, do we think he gonna get a relationship with the nurse? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, you see that coming. But off. but then Billy might try to fire her because no no no, this is unprofessional. Man, or let them older people live. Or I hope that she don't break his heart and be like, you know, it's a hip this, law. Yeah, this is you know <laughs> this is my place of work and I can't you know I can't conflict cross of the line. interest. Yeah. It, what the heck was that? What? <laughs> you still got a lot going on up here. <laughs> so, let's go back over to the land. Because this is really all I'm going to talk about. Like, there's probably so much more that we can talk about. But trust me, it's going to happen next week. So, over there at the land. So, we have Ralph Angel sitting outside at this point. Because he wants to watch and wait and see mm-hmm. what they're doing on his land. And right. I, like you said, I don't blame him. So he's out there, he's sitting, you know, Dollar comes out. Well, actually, no, Nova came out. And Nova was like, what the heck is going on out here? And he had to hit, the, hit her with the ooey. Oh, this ain't on me, this on, on you. On you, uh-huh. You know that book that you wrote, uh-huh, that they said that they pretty much don't open, reopen a case about some missing people that you said that daddy took care of and they out here on his land somewhere. So she was like, Ralph... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix this. And the whole time I'm like, Charlie don't know nothing about this yet. Yeah, Charlie too. knows everything. Charlie ain't Well, I'm glad that they haven't brought it to Charlie. Because yeah. they bring all the all bad skit to her, to man. Charlie. Yep. So then Aunt Vi and Hollywood come out there. And first they Ralph, Ralph said, said I, no, no, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. But I feel them, though. Yeah. When you've when you been going through it. And the, you knew she was coming the out there with the last thing you, but she you wasn't. need for somebody to add some more negative to the negative situation. Yeah. Because in his mind, she was coming out there to hit him with some, why did you? And this. And he was like, I ain't got time. For that. But she yeah. really won't own that this time. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm out here to support you and to be out here with you and see you through this. And at the same time, they start hollering about, oh, oh we found, found something. We found some bones. Look like they're human remains. I said, if y'all don't go somewhere with that dead on turkey, turkey leg, leg. Yeah, and exactly sit down what it, that's exactly that y'all what it looks like. Planet. But I'm still scared, y'all, because I'm scared about those Spanish people that I swear are out there and on that land. Hmm. But I do remember some of them dying, but I can't remember. They, they got flooded out. I remember I can't, that, I can't but remember I think that's where they, they were. Or, yeah, I can't remember. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we left off at. And now I'm sitting here like, here we go with a whole nother thing. So whatever we didn't talk about this week, it's definitely going to be, be something next, that's going to be in next, week. in next yeah. week's. So we're going to let y'all go and we're going to bed. We tied. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To her.
Toodle. Holla! Holla! Woo!